a physician, I, you know, in terms of dealing with macro, I would say if, if I were one of the 87%, they have, actually have not much choice, okay? Either they give up or just uh, you know, the, the take the penalty. The macro is designed to make private practice disappear, okay? Designed to, to, uh, to enrich the institution, the big employer group. If this is the ultimate goal between the government and the corporation, where do the little guy go? So, so, so before the little guy all disappear, then there will be a lot of suffering. Physicians suffer, patients suffer, the society suffer, okay? But the institution potentially make tons of money because they are the, getting the, the bonus benefit and, and then potentially a lot of money from the government channel to them. What, whatever they ask, they can have. Whatever the little guy asks, will get nothing. It's definitely overwhelming to, to practice the medicine. They destroy the private practice of medicine. They destroy the patient's choice to come to see you because you know, over 35, 35 years in, in practice, you know, you, the best way to, you know, to attract patients is the patients really know that you're doing a good job. The bottom line, you know, if uh, CMA or any state society you know, want to help the pri pri uh, private pri practice doctor is to eliminate macro. Imagine those primary care, primary care doctor and family practice doctor, especially, they take care of you know, welfare people a lot, okay? And then if they retire, no replacement. Where do they, they, they people go? Okay, so I don't think the government know what the impact is.